Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix Windows Activation Error 0XCOEA000A. Now, you would see this error message if you have recently made any changes to your computer hardware or your Windows copy is not genuine or due to various other causes. There are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step to resolve this issue is to restart your Windows Time Services. So to do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on run. In the run window, you can go ahead and type services.msc and then click on OK. This should open the services window. Once you have the services window, you will have to go ahead and locate for Windows time. So it would be in alphabetical order. Once you have located Windows time, you will have to do a right click and then click on restart. Once you have restart, you can also make sure that the service is up and running. So you can do a right click again and then click on properties. Make sure it has been set to automatic, either delayed start or automatic. And then click on apply and then click on OK. Close this window, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now, the next step to resolve this issue is to go ahead and reset the license files on your computer. To do this, you will have to keep your product key handy with you. So you will have to open the command prompt on your computer. So go to the search window and go ahead and type CMD. Once you have the best match for the command prompt, you can do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the command prompt, you will have to go ahead and type the command here. So the command is slmgr space minus ipk or dash ipk space. You will have to copy or type the product key in the next command. So you can do a right click and you can paste the product key and hit enter. Once you hit enter, after running this command, you will have to go ahead and execute a second command. Once you execute the first command, the second command, what you will have to go ahead and execute is slmgr space dash ato and hit enter. Once you hit enter, you can go ahead and close this window, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next method is to go ahead and run the activation troubleshooter. To do this, you will have to open the Windows settings by doing a right click on the start button and then clicking on settings. Once you're on the settings, you will have to go ahead and click on system. Once you're on the system, you will have to go ahead and click on activation. In case if your Windows is activated, you will see this message saying that the activation state is active. In case if your Windows is not activated or if you're seeing any error message, if your Windows is not activated or if you have the error message, this is the error message what you would have seeing that the Windows reported that no product key was found on your device and you would have an option to go ahead and click on troubleshoot. Once you click on troubleshoot, the next window what you would see is troubleshoot as completed and we weren't able to activate your windows on this device. On this window, you will have to go ahead and choose the option which says I recently changed hardware on this device option and that will prompt you to log into your Microsoft account and then check the option which says this is the device I'm using right now and check the box and click on activate. Once this is done, you may close this window and then check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next method is to go ahead and remove the device from the Microsoft account. So basically you will have to log into your Microsoft account. I will mention the link to the Microsoft account in the video description. Once you log into your Microsoft account, you will have to go ahead and navigate to the devices tab on the left hand side, on the left and then on the right hand side, you will have to go ahead and remove the unnecessary device in case if you have more than one devices. You can go ahead and choose to remove those devices by clicking on the remove device option and then check the box which says I'm ready to remove this device and then click on remove. Once you click on remove, you can close this window, restart your computer and then check if your issue has been resolved. 
so this is how you can go ahead and resolve this issue i hope this video was useful so in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day